hello everyone here in this video i am going to show you that how you can add images swatches in your collection page of the shopify store so basically on my screen you can see that we have a lot of products on my collection page so if you have a featured collection or maybe main collection pages so there you can actually add color swatches maybe uh, you can add color swatches as well as images swatches so this video is specific for images swatches in the next video i will show you that how you can add color swatches on the products collection page so basically on my screen you can see that here is the situation like we only have the products but we don't have images swatches i have already written a documentation so i will show you step by step so you should follow the complete video and you, then you will get to know that how you can implement it for free if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel and also like this video so let's go ahead firstly you should go to the dashboard of the store and if you have any of the free theme for example down theme uh, refresh theme uh, spotlight craft sense uh, uh, studio there are so many i mean uh, around 13 free themes so all in all the free themes this code will be applicable so let's implement into uh, the down theme first so here you should click on these three dots and you should duplicate this theme so in that way if you have any problem or something you can actually roll it back to its original version so once you duplicate it then you should click on edit code and uh, here you can see that we have uh, some folders and files so i have written a documentation let's follow that so the first point is that turn off show second image on hover in the theme editor so basically this means so you should go to the dashboard of the store and here you should click on customize and you will see that we have for say example uh, this is the collection so you should click on featured collection and on the right hand side we have for say example show second image on hover so you should disable this feature and in the same way you should go back to collection pages so for example this is the default collection so in product uh, grid you should uh, disable that feature also so the, yeah this is disabled now so you should go back to the dashboard uh, here in the uh, files dashboard and let's follow the documentation so you should create a new snippet the name of that snippet is color dash variant dash swatch dash custom so you should copy this exact name and go back and click on snippets and click on add a new snippet and paste that name here then click on done then after you should go back and uh, you can see that we have another new snippet to create which is card dash product dash custom dot liquid so you should copy this name also and click on add a new snippet and paste the name here and then click on done similarly we have the third file which we need to create and name of that file is card dash product dash variant dash selection dash custom dot js but basically this is a js file so you need to uh, create it into the assets folder so let me show you you can see here we had the snippets so here we have assets you should click on that click on add a new asset click on create a blank file and here you should click on js and paste that name and click on done once you are creating all these files then you should actually paste the uh, code here so firstly let's start with card dash product dash custom so let me copy this complete code and you should paste it inside of this file card dash product dash custom dot liquid and then after click on save go back and second file is card dash product dash variant dash selection dash custom so this is the js file so you should copy the code from here and you should paste it inside of this card dash product dash variant dash section selection dash custom dot js and then we have the third step which is uh, which is card dash variant dash swatch dash custom so you should copy this file also and paste it right here then click on save once the changes are saved then you should go back to the documentation so basically the second point is that uh, you should edit main dash collection dash product dash grid dot liquid so you should search this file name here and you can see that we have main dash collection dash product dash grid dot liquid and inside of it we need to add this attribute but where we are going to add so we need to search this class name so let me copy this and using control f or maybe command f you can search it and here you can see that we have only this class name and above it 
you can see we have data dash id equal to section dash id so basically this is uh, this attribute just below this we are going to add this new attribute which is this one so copy and then press enter key and paste that new attribute okay then after you should move ahead and replace the original card dash product in uh, main dash collection dash product dash uh, grid dot liquid with uh, this specific uh, keyword so let me search it here so using uh, using control f you can see that we have card dash product so you need to replace it with this card dash product dash custom so let me paste it right here and then click on save then after we have a new script which we have to add so this is a small javascript so you should copy this and at the bottom of this file you should paste it here i have pasted and then click on save go back and uh, right now we have to uh, we also needed uh, all these swatches on featured collection so in the featured collection also uh, in the featured collection pages also we need to add all these things so here we have featured collection and search so you should uh, uh, open feature dash collection dot liquid so let me show you you should search it here and here we have feature dash collection dot liquid and inside of it we have to add the same attribute and we need to search this class name again so let me show you here we go so i have searched and again just below this uh, uh, data id attribute we are going to paste this new attribute which is this one data dash section dash id and i'm going to paste it right here and then after you should go back and uh, we will also have the card dash product okay so basically this is feature dash collection so let me replace it here you here is actually featured dash collection dot liquid so we need to search this card dash product inside of this file so here we go and we need to replace it with this card dash product dash custom so let me paste it right here and then after you should go back and we have the same script which we added in the main collection so copy it and scroll a little bit down maybe at the bottom and paste it right here and then click on save so this was about featured collection pages now we are going ahead with main dash search so in the search page also we need this so you should uh, search this uh, file main dash search and here we have main dash search dot liquid and here we also need to find out this grid product dash grid class name so let me search it here and here we go so inside of it uh, we also need to add uh, the same thing so let me show you data dash id and above uh, data attribute actually uh, we have to add so this is actually main dash search file so i'm going to replace this file name with this one this is actually the documentation so i missed that so we uh, need to add uh, the additional this attribute to the ul element so basically we have this ul and we are going to add that data dash section dash id and then we again going back and we need to replace this card dash product using control f find it out and then here we have so you should replace it with cust card dash product dash custom so copy this and replace this card dash product all right then after the final step is we need to copy this complete script again and go back and scroll at the bottom and paste that script and then click on save so that's it now the final step is we need to add this uh, uh, the code inside the settings dash underscore schema so basically you should search it here settings underscore schema and at the bot at the top we are going to add this complete code so you should not miss any single thing even the comma so copy this complete and uh, 
here we need to paste it and then click on save all right so now we are ready to go so let me refresh this page and let's see if it works amazing so this is working fine so you can see that if I am changing this then this works so that's how we are actually implementing this specific feature into our Shopify store so if you have any problem or something you can uh, also ask me I will help you out in that so for example this was the main collection page if you are going back to the home page so here we have featured collection so you can see that the same thing is working here also okay that's how you can actually implement it into your store if you have any problem or something you can directly ask me so these products don't have the uh, variants so uh, the swatches are not displaying okay if you will you are going to the dashboard I mean uh, on the on this page you can see that all the colors are displaying here okay so in the previous video I have also moved these uh, small uh, images in the left side uh, earlier we had in the bottom so you can also follow that video and you will get to know that how you can move it in the left side so if you are facing any issue or something you can ask me directly in the comment section or maybe you I have already given the contact details below in the description so you can directly message me and I will solve it for you and if you have any new feature to develop then still you can ask me I will create it for you so if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel also like this video you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. You can also join a WhatsApp group which I have created. So thank you so much once again. See you in the next video.